According to this legend, the king was in the habit of chewing beetle, and he had a special male servant to supply him with the beetle. This man was from the village of Kiripatia. He had to supply beetle to the king seven times a day, and the others had nicknamed him Bulatha, Bulatha meaning beetle. Whenever he had a little free time, he walked about in the neighborhood. On one of his rounds, he noticed a wonderful sight. He saw a little valley between two mountains, and there was a stream flowing along. He thought it was an ideal place to build a tank. During his leisure time, this man started to work on the tank. He was a very strong man. The mamuti, the baskets, and all other implements that he used for this purpose were said to be extra big and very heavy. However, he had been able to handle them. Without anybody getting to know, the work on the tank progressed. His wife brought meals to the site. Now, Bulatha's wife had to take a long route when she brought the meals. She thought of building a pathway to reduce the distance. The pinnacle laying ceremony of the city was organized. At the auspicious time, the pinnacle was unveiled. Bulatha then went to the king, worshipped him and said, O oh king, I too did something for the benefit of the people. Would you please come and see it? When Bulatha noticed this, he also helped her. As the construction work of Mahayana Gana Chiti was nearing completion, Bulatha's tank and the shortcut made by his wife were both completed. They were very careful to keep all this secret. The king readily agreed and went with his men. The king was quite surprised and asked him how he found the time to do all this. Bulatha replied that whenever he had little time to spare, he attended to his work. What a great tank, exclaimed the king. Bulatha then told the king that his wife too did something great. When the king wanted to know what it was, he was taken to the steps. It happened to be a shortcut from Udam Dambara to Varanganat Tota and consisted of thousands of stone steps. It came to be known as Gal Padihela. The tank was named Sorobora Weaver. As none of the chronicles mentions this episode, this is pure.